hello good morning now i am going to show you how to enable cross cross origin refresh in azure cdn okay so let's log into azure portal now add a cdn profile so using you have to choose a version premium model with currently which azure is supporting for the cars so give us profile name like cars and choose the resource you can choose any resource existing then here pricing is important so you have to choose the premium where is on here only you can uh, enable the cost remain these two there is no support for the cost currently so select this select instead create once the profile is created then to enable the course for that cdn profile you have to make a rule which will change the headers of that re origin request while accessing the like a css any fonts or any other things so let us go to the that whatever we added right now currently cdn profile and uh, click here you can see a menu option like a manage we select this then it will go to the new window where you can enable so why it is showing this error unable to open here please try again because still it is under creation before creation if you try to create a rule it will give this error so you have to wait until it get create the cdn profile so let's wait for one or two minutes to create a cdn profile once it's successfully created then we can create a rule which will allow any ports request means any cross origin request for font and css in azure cdn okay now it's created this means let me go and click a manage now it is going to open then new tab with a where you can create a rules for the cdm profile so click it now here you can see a two tabs in this select the http latch down you can see rule engine select it then here you can define the rule name let me define cors and here is selected is a like a, this is regarding to cors cross origin request so here we have to select the request header wildcard so whatever let it be then name i give it as origin matches values here you can match the source from where request is going to come so you can keep it all like this store dot and that particular domain like abc.com if you want to this store will uh, give you like whether it may be https or http you want to give a both access then you can give a this a uh, character while while card otherwise you can define the specific origin then you can give it a data specific like http colon or https you can give a case ignore the case then click a features here we are going to giving the modification means that is nothing but giving allow that is nothing but a response whenever it is going a response you can find the uh, here modify client response header that is nothing but a overwrite here give a name like i access control iphone allow iphone origin so with the value you can define the value like this http and its code origin origin and on more you can add it for header else not else it should be like features same thing modify response
client response header give a override and here I'll give one access for header access control allow headers here you can give a wildcard that's it now if you add it this then whenever you are requesting any font or any CSS related things from your source to Azure CDN it will give a access if suppose if you are giving a request from HTTPS colon slash slash abc.com then it will give a it will recognize and it will change the origin and headers to give a access to the font so click add once I click add so it is going to show like this this rule generally it will take a four hours so as per the Azure so after four hours if you try to access Azure CD and URL so automatically whatever endpoint wants to create endpoint here so for that endpoint it will give access to that okay this is a how to enable a course in a Azure CDN okay thank you for watching this is Venkat